Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about Windows Registry and how you can use C Sharp to manipulate it. So basically I have set up a small WPF program and what I have here is something called the top level registry entries and I would be showing this in this uh, list box and when I click on a particular list box entry I will show the second level sub keys in, in this uh, particular tree view. This is a tree view. So let me just show you the code here. Uh, basically when the list box selection changes I would come in here and I would look at the names and the names are going to be what I've already entered. These are the top level uh, entries. Uh, there may be one or two other more that I've not added but should have most of them. So for example the H key classes root would be here and this point the way you access the sub names is you say registry it's a static class then you say classes root you can see it's coming from here and then you get the sub key names similarly for current configuration current user local machine performance data and edge key users so that's what it is doing in terms of the add click button i will uh, show you uh, next but i'm going to put in uh, just a breakpoint so i can show you that in a moment but let's just get this program uh, running and we can kind of watch what it does so here is the, the all the classes that i have shown you the top level registries so if i click on that for example it should uh, show me all of the registry entries under the H key class root current config for example is these and the current user is this so this is what i have so i have an entry called gore which I can just delete by clicking on this. I can say delete registry. And if I refresh, it should be all gone. So another way to look at this is to uh, use the Microsoft program. So I have run this program called RegEdit and you can see the entries for the current users. So I don't have God in here. So if I went to uh, back to my uh, program here, and if I say add registry, it's supposed to add that entry. It's going to come on here. So I'm just saying registry current user. Current user is the, one of these keys here. And I'm saying create sub key core. And I'm like saying you get this registry object. And you can call registry dot value. And this is the key name and this would be the value. So that's what I'm doing and I can show you how it looks like. So it should have added that entry and if you want to see it, you can see here it's the entry gore. And also you can uh, look in the uh, F5, if you do this, you can see the entry here. And here is the entry we added called demo and it's going to have a value register set. And typically you'll just uh, do it as a string so it will be of a type re.sc. So that's what it is, registry set value this. And to delete the registry entry is a similar function here. Basically, you say registry, the top level key, the delete sub key. And I'm getting the keys at the next level. If you want to drill down, basically what you would do is the same thing. Go out, slash, slash, uh, one slash is escape. And you can add something into it. And you'll be able to see it. Uh, Windows registry manipulation, uh, reading and uh, doing all this can be useful if you are interacting with an existing Windows program such as shell or something else. But anyway, hopefully this is useful and uh, you have learned how to manipulate the Windows registry. If you want to learn more, you can basically go to my website and search for these and other videos. And for example, I'm just uh, searching for dash through time, uh, some other videos. So thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.